Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. Next up today we're going to take a look at another figure from the Clone Wars line. Again, this figure does suffer in terms of lack of articulation, which uh, isn't the best thing for an action figure, but it's quite an improvement over uh, Clone Command Wolf that I previously gave you a look at. It is yet another version of Ahsoka, but as I said this figure is very very nice in terms of sculpt, detail and just the fact that it's a bit different. Obviously this is Ahsoka in her scuba gear as seen during season 3 I believe or was it the opening of season 4? I can't remember. I need to start doing my research. Um, obviously this character was seen during the uh, the scuba scenes of uh, the Clone Wars where the Jedi and the Republic team up with the Mon Calamari and uh, you see the clones with the submarines and all that kind of stuff. So quite a cool episode and quite a cool character selection to do as a figure. So I'll talk about the figure in a little bit more detail in just a bit. But first up, let's take a look at the packaging. Once again, nothing new with the packaging. Just the 2012 design with Darth Maul's packaging at the top. Face even, not packaging. You've got the Star Wars logo at the side there and an image of Ahsoka on the side of the bubble on the back. Got an image of the figure, got an image from the Clone Wars, and you've also got a character description as well. So there we go. That's the packaging that Ahsoka comes in. And obviously she does come with the battle game card and a display stand as well. I really like the image. It's on the back of this card. It has sort of an illustrated, sort of uh, cartoony feel to it. It looks quite good with those black outlines and stuff like that. It looks quite different. And it's a cool image, in my opinion. So there we go. That's the packaging, the game card, and stand, and so on and so forth. Now let's take a look at this figure. Now the only thing that I'm going to complain about, uh, there is a couple of things, but uh, the major, major flaw that I have with this figure is the fact that it comes with this bloody thing. You may remember from the 2012 release of Anakin Skywalker that he came with this absolutely ridiculous looking lightsaber launcher. Well this one's worse and I'll tell you why. If you remember the Anakin lightsaber launcher you may remember that the disc was sort of a translucent blue colour. This is solid green so in no way shape or form does it represent a spinning lightsaber because it's just a solid block colour and it looks horrible it's a disgusting shade of green and it just looks ridiculous so I'm not impressed with that whatsoever um, obviously you press the button at the back there and the disc very poorly fires out uh, but yeah as I've said before this just looks like a McDonald's toy and I hate it so onto the figure uh, which is much better than the action feature that it comes with um, it's quite a nice figure I love the accessories that this one comes with I love the overall look of it um, but again as I've said before the articulation is just very very poor on this figure I'll talk about that in just a minute first up though let's take that zoom in so you can get this uh, figure in a bit more detail as you can see Ahsoka is of course wearing a scuba mask zoom out slightly for you. Um, the mask is removable and it's a very nice tight snug fit on the face and it doesn't look too bulky or too much like it doesn't belong there if you get what I mean. Um, as I said the mask can be removed you just flick it up at the back and it lifts up like so and you've got a pretty cool Ahsoka head sculpt underneath. Definitely one of the best that Hasbro have sculpted so far. We really do like that head sculpt. And as you can see around the back of the head, the mask just flicks up over Ahsoka's Leku. Pretty sure what uh, that's what Togarutas call them. You know, the head tails of the, the character. So that's quite a cool feature. do quite like that removable mask. As I said, that very nicely fits over the figure's face like that. So that's pretty cool. In terms of other accessories, she does indeed come with a removable oxygen tank on the back there, which has that same sort of uh, design to the 
scuba clone trooper that was released with the submarine. She does come with a couple of lightsabers. You get the short version, which I believe is known as the Shota. And you get the traditional long-bladed lightsaber as well. She doesn't hold them particularly well, which, as you can see, the assistance of a clear rubber band is uh, greatly appreciated in this instance. Um, but yeah, she does look really cool with those lightsabers in place. The sculpt of the figure is nice as well. You've got gauntlets, armour, belt straps, and the overall outfit is quite cool as well. And the final accessory she comes with is a pair of flippers which can be removed from the feet. So there we go. In terms of articulation, it's not that great. Um, but this is definitely one of those figures that the, uh, the artic... Uh, sorry, I'm really losing it today. Uh, this is one of those figures where the sculpt, detail and paint applications really make up for the lack of articulation, which should have been something that I could have said about Clone Commander Wolf, but unfortunately it isn't. Um, in terms of articulation, though, this figure has a ball jointed neck, ball hinged shoulders, elbows, no swivel wrists, a swivel waist, I believe. No, I'm lying. No swivel waist, which is uh, a little bit bad. She has swivel hips, no articulation in the knees, and no articulation in the ankles. So as I've said in previous reviews, Hasbro, pull your finger out and give us articulated figures, please. As I said, I'm not a massive, you know, I don't really care whether my figures are articulated or not. As long as they have articulation above the waist, that's all I really care about. Uh, but as I said, when you're paying a premium for these figures, they should be made to a much better standard. So there we go. Not much else to say about this figure really, um, I'd definitely pick one up if I were you, um, if you're a fan of the Clone Wars, because it's a different figure to add to your collection, and um, yeah, aside from the articulation, it's not a bad figure, so uh, yeah, definitely recommend picking one up. So I hope you've enjoyed having a look at Ahsoka Tano in her scuba gear from the Clone Wars line, and I'll be back to give you a look at a couple of clone troopers next, so stay tuned for that. Until next time guys, as always, I want to thank you for watching, keep collecting, and until next time, may the force be with you.